Hi, it's Brenda with Luke's here with some more ideas on how to use your Premiere Plus 2 or Sonet software. Have you ever bought a design and you're looking at it? And I've got one called up here on the screen and you're thinking, wow, that is kind of blah. Just straight stitching and no texture to the design. What can I do to change that? Well, the answer is to go into digitizing and change the fill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to create, turn on digitizing, opens up a whole new window in the software. And this is my Sonut software. I'm going to say, start with a new design with no picture. I'm going to use the big hoop so that you can see what I'm doing. And now I need to insert the embroidery. Now, to get that embroidery into the hoop, I'm going up here. I'm in the home tab. Over here, look at the far left where I'm circling. And then here it says insert embroidery. And that's going to allow me to choose that design. I have it parked right here on the desktop for you to see. And there's the design. Now the elements are grouped. So the first thing I need to do is ungroup them. You'll notice my cursor is over here on the far left on the film strip. I'm right clicking and I'm ungrouping the design. Okay, so now, it is made of simply all the different components that make up the design. So what I'm looking for is the fill design for the hat. So as I scroll down the white, and the white of course is the hat, oh, look, there it is. Film strip, film strip section number 16, it says pattern fill. When I click on it, you see the box around the fill on the hat. And in fact, I'm gonna go over here on the right and make this larger so you can see, there we go. Back on the film strip, I've got pattern fill. I'm right clicking, going down to properties. And I've got some choices. If I want one of the standard pattern fills, I can go up here to the right left corner of my window. But what we want to look at are the patterns that are under the drop down menu. So we, when I hit that drop down menu, you see lots of patterns. In fact, there are tons of different categories and they are in alphabetical order. So what I'm looking for is, I always like the diamonds. I'm gonna choose the diamonds. I'm gonna hit apply. And, oh, did you see that? Did you see what happened to the hat? All of a sudden now it's got texture and it's interesting. So we're gonna say, okay, I like that. Now the hearts here are again, that same plain flat fill. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so you can see. There we go. You can see they're just flat. So we're going to scroll down through the heart. I'm gonna grab the pattern fill on one of the hearts. Here it is labeled pattern fill and that's section 51. I'm right clicking again. I'm going to properties and on the drop down patterns right here, I wonder, you know there is, it's a setup, right? If there's a heart section and of course begins with an H, there it is. So under the hearts, I see these. I'm going to go ahead and pick a design. Again, moving the window over so you can see what I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to hit apply and then hit OK. And I see it, but it really doesn't look very good because that pattern was too large. So let's go back in to properties. And again, I, the reason I do that is I want to show you that you can choose more than one time. So I see here's some nice little, they're actually cards, but I think they're going to read as hearts on the design. So I'm going to hit apply and hit OK. So now I've got a lot more texture going on, and I think that looks pretty good. So let's put this back down to 100%. All right, so look at the difference in the hat. Looks great. And in the hearts, the one in the middle has the texture. The two on either side do not. Really sparks up your design. And when I'm finished with this, all I have to do is take this design and, of course, export it to my embroidery machine. So I'm in good shape. So until next time, it's Brenda with Luke's.